Okay, I uh, want to welcome everybody. Here's the uh, update now for the contest. Again, day number eight from yesterday. We've got today and Monday is our last trading day of the competition. And again, we've got uh, Bilal, who's been in the lead now for several days, um, and uh, nobody's really uh, given him the competition to dethrone him. But I think today we're, we may see... We may see with the type of day that we've had here in the trading room, we may see a change in the leaderboard. I don't know that for a fact because I don't know what Bilal has traded today, Marco, uh, Kazmiris, or anybody else. But uh, we've had a great, great trading day today, about seven winning trades this morning, uh, all green. So with that, if you've taken the right, uh, right share size, you could be one of the traders that's in the top 20. So let's kind of talk about this. Bilal's been in the lead for quite some time. Uh, there's, uh, we don't know what type of move is going to, it's going to take for, uh, for to dethrone any one of the top five here. But I know a couple of things here. Um, but we've just had an insane battle now of positions number 20 through three. You can see here, take a look at uh, Kazmira's uh, previous rank 49th, now rank number three which just had a crazy day. We'll go over that, go over some of his trades today. I think it's been a battle. And uh, the difference between 5th and 10th place is just a bit more than $1,000. You can see 10980 down to, uh, what, 9100 here. So uh, almost, what, 16, no, about, um, yeah, about 1600 bucks or so between 10 and cracking into the top five. And uh, that's going to be awesome. A lot of the traders... Moving up, you can see uh, previous rank uh, 11 for uh, for Sharif. He's moved down just a little bit here um, in the in the competition, about five five spots down. Sharif's been doing a great job. Uh, Jadeep has been in there, uh, moving up seven spots here. Uh, congratulations to uh, Exteban, moving up 13 spots, and like we said, uh, to Karis up uh, 11 spots here. Corey's team doing very good. So there's a lot of change, a lot of maneuvering here in the top 20, which is really, really, uh, really, really outstanding. And uh, I bet Bilal and Marco are very happy uh, that, uh, that they're not into this fight yet, but we're going to see what happens here. Yesterday on the eliminations, we had 28 people eliminated, 28 people eliminated for the daily loss limit and uh, maximum loss uh, was eight, and overnight positions was three, total of 39. We've had 1,076 people knocked out of the competition. And here's what the daily eliminations look like. Remember, we started off with the gambler, gamblers on the first three days. We've calmed it down, day four, five, six, seven, and eight, eight being the least amount of traders being kicked out. People starting to make their moves into this Friday and into the weekend here taking a little bit more as far as share size goes, a little bit more risk out there, uh, but we've had about 40 eliminations yesterday, and uh, for the first time we're actually seeing more competitors, or should I say past competitors, getting disqualified more due to the maximum loss and leave, than leaving overnight positions. So people understand now that you can't leave a position overnight in this trading competition, otherwise you'll be disqualified. So only three people were disqualified for the uh, for trading the overnight positions here, okay. Uh, one thing I wanted to uh, to say here and to bring into play uh, was a couple of the the trades that uh, first place and everybody else took. So your first place trader, your first place trader from uh, from yesterday and uh, for the last couple of days, Bilal. I'll give you an idea of how he's traded. Uh, he's taken two trades just yesterday: LIPC and SFIX. Shorted 200 shares of each and covered with a small profit. And then second place, Marco. Uh, Marco bought uh, the SPY and sold it in just a few seconds. I think Marco's playing it safe, close to the vest here, trying to hold on to second place. But uh, I think there's going to be a change in this leaderboard here. And then I wanted to show you one other thing. In third place, in third place, Kismaris, who made that big, huge move yesterday from 49th place up to number three. Well, how in the heck do you do that? With two days left here, how am I going to make, if you're sitting there asking yourself, how are you going to make it into the top 10, into the top 20, or possibly win this competition? He traded one stock yesterday, and that was H-O-M-E. 
H O M E. He bought 7,500 shares, covered 7,500 shares in uh, in about four hours worth a huge profit. Take a look at this move on home yesterday, and take a look at where he got this baby. Okay, here is the home trade, and uh, this trader here took home at uh, at 8.98, I think it was, yeah, 8 8.98 yesterday, and covered it. Covered it at 777, 898 to 777. That's a big move with 7,500 shares. Are you kidding me? Congratulations, congratulations to uh, to Kazmaris here for making that big move yesterday. Uh, again, going from uh, going from 49th rank up to number three. Well deserved, my friend. Doing a great job of taking just one trade, hammering it with the correct number of shares. And coming out on top, top three places. Now remember, we're paying out the top ten places in this world's greatest and largest trading competition. So your top ten, your top ten traders here are going to get uh, packages by and opening a a brand new account with us. Bilal, Marco, Kesmeris, David, Francisco, Jen, Kyle, uh, Efren, and uh, Muskembe, and Kojeris. Okay. Uh, so again, top 10 are going to be paid out, and it's going to be great. They're going to be obtaining packages here, and will have an opportunity to trade live with us by their skills in the trading competition. Traders, again, I've got to tell you that if you're still alive and still have a, a trading account in this competition, you have a chance to win. You have a chance to win. You can do this. You've got the rest of today, this afternoon, and on Monday, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to trade. Okay, so again, it's going to take a little bit of time here to trade uh, properly these next couple of days because you're probably going to be doing some things that you normally wouldn't do. But you get that share size right, and you get these trades like we've had today. And I'm going to tell you this: when the afternoon report comes out, I think we're going to see some traders move up. We've had an outstanding trading morning this morning. Mayor was in here, had two great trades. We followed that up with a very successful IPO. Just got that taken care of here on the breakout and uh, so many more trades this morning. It's been a home run day, traders. I hope you've enjoyed it. All of you on social media up there on YouTube, smash that thumbs up button for us.